going on warriors it's your boy live heart and um feels good man let's do the housekeeping first thank you thank you for tuning in watching right now sharing my videos subscribing commenting uh just you inspire me right you guys help me to keep on doing this thing you know when you comment and you give me your words of support it serves as motivation for me to just keep pushing forward because you guys believe in me and if you guys believe in me i gotta keep going forward with that said let's push on shall we and let's talk about some cyberpunk 2077 now this is crazy they have announced three hours ago what well, four hours ago from now right that they're gonna delay some point 2077 that's that's crazy just yesterday i saw a tweet from somebody saying i'm gonna take a day off on the 19th of november can you confirm that there is going to be no more delays cyberpunk put reply to this person's tweet full confirmation coming out november 19 no doubts 100 percent the get the, the, the game gets cancelled the next day well cancelled for that day and then moved back to December 10th. That's the new day. December 10th. Tw 21 days. More. That we have to wait. That's incredible to me. And it was, I swear it was just the other day. I think it was like October the 5th. Yeah. I know the dates because I've been watching this stuff in it. I've been on it. For Cyberpunk. Yeah. On the 5th of October... 2020, they put a picture of Keanu Reeves' character, Johnny Silverhand, holding a gold disc saying they've gone gold. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 has gone gold. Yeah, see with Night City, 19th of November. It's on. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Because fast forward a couple days, and now it's no longer happening. And not only that, yeah, I'm just seeing like an, a, a tweet here, yeah. It says on the 6th of October, somebody tweeted at them and asked them, no more delays, no? And then Cyberpunk replied to this person and said, no more delays are happening. That's crazy. And then fast forward to the 27th of October, 2020, they delayed the game. Madness. Madness to me. But I do get it, yeah? I do understand why they're delaying the game. And I'd rather they delay it than not delay it. We pull up the tweet, and this is what they said. Hi, everyone. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read certain important parts that I think are there. It says, hi, everybody. Today, we've decided to move the release date of 20 Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. That's crazy. Uh, what else they say? They say one of the biggest challenges that they have is shipping a game on current gen and next gen and PC at the same time. And they have to have nine versions ready. An Xbox One version, an Xbox One X version, um, compatible on the Series S and the Xbox Series X, the PS4, the PS4 Pro, and compatibility on the PS5, PC, and Stadia. Right? And then we need to make sure that everything works and was running smoothly. Right? Um... <sighs> I don't know, man. So it's 21 days more that we have to wait. You know, and they're saying that, you know, 
there's probably going to be a, a day negative one patch. I hate day one patches with a passion. The worst thing, man, one of the worst things in gaming is when you buy a brand new game, not only do you have to install it onto your console, but then you have to download some crazy patch, some 10 gig or 8 gig or 7 gig patch. I hate it. But I get it. I mean, that's what's happening right now. The work that they're doing is not going to go into the game. It's going to go into a day one patch. So imagine if you don't have internet. And you buy Cyberpunk 2077. The version that you would play is going to be mangled. Alright. I get it. I get it. You know. I, I will say it's fine, but it's not fine. But I do understand it. I'd rather the game comes out in its complete form without bugs and glitches than ship with bugs and glitches. Because as I said, with like Marvel Avengers, unacceptable. The condition it launched, unacceptable. There's some bits in that game that are amazing. But the things in the game that are bad outweigh the things that are good. Uh, do I regret playing the game? I'm, I'm buying the game. Not really. Not really. Because I the, I did have fun with the game. Right? And more is coming. Spider-Man's coming. Black Panther's coming. A lot of characters are coming. So, I'm not really that... Irked by the situation of that game. Because I've got other games to play. Cyberpunk is a different matter. I trust um, CD Projekt Red because of Witcher 2 and Witcher 3. I know the godlike work that they can do. Cyberpunk 277 has got a lot of moving parts. It's got a first person shooting game, mad optional romances with multiple people, massive buildings that you can scale, a lot of things to find. It's a driving game as well. You can customise your character. It's got lots of different abilities in the game. There's a hell of a lot of moving parts in Cyberpunk. Which I can... I understand. You know, that glitches and bugs can happen. They're trying to iron it out. Look, probably when they release the game day one. Even with their patch. There's still going to be a lot of glitches in the game. Because there's so many moving parts. But, jeez... 21 days, huh? You know what it is, yeah? 21 days is not that bad, but it's just the fact that is a delay after delay after delay. It's mad. Personally, just me. I'm going to cancel my pre-order just because I'm a little bit nervous as to what is going on, you know, with this game. It's real state, yeah? Because we don't know it's real state. All we've seen is Night City Wire previews and trailers, which look incredible, yeah? But I want to take a little bit of a step back, and I'll wait for players, gamers' reviews. Uh, when I watch like somebody playing the game, I want to see what they're saying and what I see in that game. I'm not talking about reviews from mainstream media. I couldn't give a damn about their reviews because it's all it's all bs anyway right i want to see like people playing the game like on twitch or on youtube or whichever and just see if the game is looks good if it's glitchy what it's saying yeah that's what personally what i want to do yeah so warriors that's my take on it i want to hear what you guys got to say because this is a big deal man they're delaying this game again madness madness but i get it I'd rather the game be shipped in its most complete game as form as possible than a buggy, glitchy mess. That would just wind me up. Warriors, over to you. Once again, thank you for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And take care of yourself. Mentally and physically. Alright, Warriors. Later.